Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Um, okay, so I have a fun little haul. <laughs> um, it's little in the fact that it's small in stature, but I think hopefully very mighty in gorgeousness. Um, so I went ahead and splurged a little bit. <laughs> and um, I started looking into handmade watercolors on Etsy. And then I um, stumbled onto the color shifting handmade watercolors and kind of fell in love. And so I'll show you. Um, I went ahead and ordered from this Etsy seller, uh, Coloring Brittany. And um, as you can see, she's based out of Colorado Springs. Um, she's actually had quite a few sales and she's only been on Etsy since 2021. Um, so I went ahead and um, purchased uh, 15 of hers. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> uh, I kind of splurged a little bit. I really don't spend this kind of money a lot on art supplies or anything anymore. Um, but I thought I would show you a little bit of an unboxing and a little swatch and maybe a little bit of play. It, kind of depends on how much time we have, but, um, I did already obviously take everything out of the envelope, um, or the mailing package. It came in, well, it was wrapped in a really pretty little ribbon that had a charm on it, um, and a bow on the top here. Um, two of mine didn't fit into the tin, but it came in this cute little tin, uh, and then that was all put, they were all put into like one of those little organza treat bags. Um, and so anyway, I kind of knew that, uh, this would be my first big set from her, but I think I'm going to try and, um, keep buying multiples here and there. Um, you know, every few weeks, probably we'll see, or I might just do another big set, but uh, I want to eventually, hopefully get most of her colors that she's got. So on Amazon, I went out and I found this, uh, watercolor palette. It's just empty. And actually, it was a kind of a cool set. It uh, came with this, obviously, and then um, came with these two water brushes, and then like three. Uh, I, I already put them away, but three really, really small uh, uh, paint brushes. So I'm assuming uh, for watercolor, and then I think 50, 50 empty pans um, that will fit inside here in case I wanted to make my own watercoloring. Uh, paints, but um, anyway, uh, I thought, well, this is a great place to store my color shift watercolors, and then they actually have a bigger pan. I think it's maybe that that much wider. It's the bigger size, um, which would hold quite a few more if you had a, a bigger collection. So anyway, so let's see. I don't know how I want to organize these. Hmm. <laughs> I probably should figure that out before I put them in here, huh? But if you didn't want to do that, you could easily um, unwrap all these. And I've seen people uh, find there's like um, stickers that are magnets. And you just put that on the bottom side of your pan and uh, it'll stick down into your metal tin um, with magnets. So then this could be your watercolor tin. So uh, it would be great if I only had... <laughs> 13 colors. <laughs> so anyway, I think what I'll do is um, stop talking and unwrap all this and um, start swatching. And so you can see kind of how it goes. And I'll be back in a bit.
Okay, so while I'm waiting for my swatches to dry, um, I found some, I don't know, I think this is, uh, op so it looks like it stays on in cotton white. I've never used it. I got, oh, <laughs> okay, what the heck? What are we supposed to do here? Do not discard. Protective inner cover. So it came all with this. This is the inker. Are you telling me it's not been inked yet? <laughs> or maybe it's just the inker and um, the ink and the re-inker. Anyway, I'm gonna need, I need to figure this out. But um, I have uh, these stamps that I thought would be really cool to stamp in white on some black paper and then um, paint uh, with my fun new colors. So I'm going to read the directions <laughs> and I'll be right back with you. So pretty. <laughs> uh, I hopefully I can read what that says. I think I will be able to. It's awfully small, but oh my gosh, I am absolutely loving these watercolors right now. <laughs> um, and it just makes me want to go place another order. <laughs> so, okay, so there they are on black. Now let me do the same thing on white but here you can kind of see so this these two very very obviously are changing colors um this one was the beetle uh but yeah just gorgeous gorgeous gorgeousness that coral I wasn't sure about that one but that's a really cool color and then um so looking at, oh, I need to label these. Hold on. Let me do that and I'll be right back. I'm just so excited, guys. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see better now um, how they uh, compare between white watercolor paper and then this isn't watercolor paper, it's just black cardstock, uh, but it it's holding up really well to the, uh, to the watercolor. But um, yeah, the scales for sure is looking um, very different to me between the two. Um, on the white, sorry, this is like unruly. On the white watercolor paper, it looks more gold, um, and you're losing the gold on the black. You're seeing more of the green. Um, and same with the lolly. The lolly is kind of like a gray green on white, but very much greener on black. 
um, Cheshire. Oh my gosh, look at that gorgeous color and licorice. And so very different between the white and the black. Bayo as well, very much more of a pink. Puddle is a lilac that transitions into like a silver. And Bliss is hard to describe. <laughs> Um, but here again, you can see how different they look between the two different um, colors of paper. So hopefully I'm doing them justice. They're absolutely gorgeous. I want more. <laughs> As you can see, I've got uh, more room in my pan for a whole nother row right here, which I totally intend to fill this up. Um, I will say... This one, the Aura, must have been freshly made because it's still a little bit loose in the pan, so I need to be a little careful. And then the night as well was a little bit loose, but I'm going to just leave this open and open to the air to dry for the next day or so and check it again. But, oh, I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm just, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really in love. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I stamped out this uh, really gorgeous little stamp on some white watercolor paper using, um, as you saw, the Versafine um, uh, in Onyx Black. So that should take watercolor well. And then I actually did also stamp it. I tried to stamp it in white. Um, I did not realize that that... Uh, that ink was going to completely stain my <laughs> stamping block, which is a big bummer. Um, so I don't know that I'll be using that ever again. It's probably why it was on clearance. <laughs> but anyway, I went over this with my white gel pen. Um, I believe it's dry. So I'm just going to see what happens. Um, and let's just do a little bit of watercoloring and have a little bit of fun. <laughs>
All right, everybody. So I'm back. Um, here's how <laughs> the one on white uh, watercolor paper turned out. Uh, I love them both for different reasons. But I really love this ethereal look that, um, I guess, aura. The aura look <laughs> gave around the um, design, kind of like clouds. And then here's the uh, first one that I did. Um, a lot more colorful. Um, I think I went a little overboard on the stuff around the design. But it's really cool that you can still see the white lines through the paint. Um, I really thought... Um, I was going to cover most of that up, so uh, I don't know what I'll do with these, but I definitely am going to keep them and use them in some way. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to kind of highlight uh, her her Etsy shop because I, you know, when it, before I pushed the buy button, I thought, oh, let me go see if there's any reviews or just, you know, because it's nice to see the colors and you know, a video or something, or in person if it's possible, but, um, and I just, I didn't see any of them out there, and I thought, well, why don't I be the first one? <laughs> so, anyway, um, if you're interested in handmade watercolors, uh, Coloring Brittany is a fantastic Etsy shop, and I hope that you go check her out. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.